Yo, Mom! Look at this new tracer I got. Ah! I don't know how to f say it. Before we start today's video, I want to thank the channel members that are making it happen. HSA Doc, Christos, Algebra, and CQ Speed. You too can become a channel member and help Tater gain his next meal so he doesn't have to go hungry. So I'm sitting at my desk, I get a message on Instagram, it's none other than T238. They come out to me and say, hey, you want a review? And I say, I bet. In no time, they sent me their latest product, the T238 Storm Tracer, for me to test out we can see that it comes in a very small package. The Tracer's small size can even fit a majority of airsoft handguards. The threading itself is your basic 14 millimeter counterclockwise threading, making it compatible for both airsoft and jailsoft rifles. Also encased in the carbon fiber exterior has got to be one of its best features. You also have multiple colors to choose from just to match your style. This tracer will save you battery by automatically shutting down when not in use. And you can also switch between three different modes to suit your gameplay. And for 40 bucks, honestly, that's not that bad. I think one of the biggest qualities for their selling point on this tracer is the fact that it has a flare functionality that replicates a muzzle flash. But for sure, there's one thing you've got to watch out for. Staring at the front and turning on the tracer will turn you into a Hiroshima victim in no time, and I don't recommend it. Taking this tracer out on the field the last few weeks, I have noticed a few things. And one of the biggest things that I did like was the fact that it doesn't have a thread adapter. Those grub screws were no good when it came to screwing it on your regular outer barrel, especially since they were trying to cater to the Nerf community. I could say, nah. The USB-C charger is also a plus, and it brightens up every tracer BB that I've used so far. And I gotta say, it looks great tucked into my MTW. The only thing I didn't like about this tracer was the fact that when you're cycling through the modes, it is way too fucking bright. If you're prone to epileptic seizures, I wouldn't recommend getting this tracer. It probably only uses a game pod where it's a bigger indoor field or even an outdoor night game. Low-key don't want anybody reacting to the flash if it were to go off close to them. Overall, it's got solid function and offers a great value for its price. However, the brightness of the flash can be a bit overwhelming and even when cycling through its different modes. Because of this drawback, I gotta rate it a 3 out of 5. Look, 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 I'm not trying to hate, T238 makes great products, but it's a little bit too flashy for me, and the amount of times that I've probably blinded myself a little bit. But for real, if the brightness wasn't so overwhelming, this tracer would be an easy recommendation. While it has great features, the intense flash has got to be something to be mindful of, so be cautious when using it, especially in low light situations. Other than the high muzzle flash effect, it does what it needs to do. It actually looks like a good suppressor in a build. Thanks for watching boys, and I will see you on the next video.